Well, thanks, Mike, and thanks for your leadership on this issue. And um, I think sometimes, uh, you know, issues come into clear view that really um, illustrate the choice between big government and individual freedom. And this issue probably does this, that better than anything. Now, when Democrats gain power, which they have now in Washington, D.C., they have the whole of government, they have the House, the Senate, and the White House, what typically happens is they want to grow and expand government, the reach of government, into people's lives. We've seen that. It's evidenced in the reckless tax and spending spree bill that we're talking about, they're talking about right now. Uh, it's evidenced in their attempt to take over elections in this country from states. Uh, it is this uh, inertia that, um, that Democrats have when they gain power to try and grow and expand government. And in this particular case, uh, they really have gone too far. And I say that as somebody who, like some of my colleagues, is pro-vaccine. I'm vaccinated. I encourage people to get vaccinated. But I don't believe that that's something that the federal government can mandate for businesses around this country. And we're going to have an opportunity on the floor of the United States to overturn this mandate and to express our support for American businesses and American workers. Because in the end, you've heard this, and I've heard it, I've seen it in my state, I've talked to constituents who have, are dealing with this on a daily basis. They are extremely concerned about the impact this will have on an already stretched and strapped workforce around this country. This is not something that the federal government should be interfering with when it comes to the choices made by the American people. Now, the courts have already ruled and uh, continue to rule. They continue to, to overturn this mandate, but that has not deterred or stopped the Democrats from you know, proceeding headlong to try and impose um, this onerous, heavy-handed mandate on businesses and workers across this country. So every Democrat is going to get a chance to go on the record when we have this vote. And we will have Republicans and Democrats in support of the uh, fundamental choice that is going to be before uh, us and, and, frankly, before the American people. And that is whether you want more, bigger, uh, intrusive, heavy-handed government in your lives or whether you want to preserve what has distinguished and differentiated and made this country um, different and unique and special since its inception. And that is our belief in individual freedom.